Hello everyone, this is Lisa and I have a word that was given to Miss Sophie and it's quite a long word so I'm just going to get started here and, and read this out. My daughter, this is urgent. Write these words down. My children, do you see the time you are in now? It is the time of much sorrow, much change, lives forever changed. Their weapons of war against you are at the ready. Do not be fooled by outward appearances, as if they are mending fences, so to speak. There is no peace. They have been conspiring against you for so long and are salivating that soon they will destroy. You see, children, they are knee-deep in their filth, their sins, their evil, their perversions, their greed, their quest for complete power and control. You are merely parasites that need to be exterminated. Satan has hated my creation. What is made in the image of me he is out to destroy. These people are controlled by demonic entities as they swore an oath to Satan, which they call Lucifer, the light bearer. The leaders of these nations are all in cahoots with one another. Are you getting the picture yet, children? Are you understanding how this game is played yet? The new world order is underway and all is in place. The fiery event will start the free fall, as this will lead from one thing to the next in quick succession. An economic collapse, civil unrest, martial law, FEMA camps, famine, disease, all will ensue. There will continue to be earthquakes in diverse places, floods, unusual weather catastrophes, and much more. As Trump is removed, the king rises, the formidable one, evil incarnate, the one who will finish America off and make her desolate, a total wasteland. This is why many refer to him as abomination of desolation. Your king will come in as a peaceful, smooth-talking lamb, you must believe, my children, I am has no reason to deceive you. I am is on my children's side. It is why I have sent so many to warn of Obama. It is why I have given so many dreams and visions of who Obama is, of war, of martial law, of destruction, of bloodshed all across the land. I have told you so very much to get you to wake up. My church is in a coma, and you sleepers will be taken in by the king, alien deception, and will remain following the beast to your demise if you do not come out of your comatose state. None of these leaders here and around the world are whom you think they are. When they say peace and safety, sudden destruction follows. How many times must I repeat myself about these deceptions? Most of my church and I will reiterate are not prepared at all. Children, this main event is not years away from happening. This is the year of the free fall, when your lives will be forever changed, when you will have to live as if in the 1800s soon to survive. Right now, my comatose children are out buying material things when they should have been buying all the necessary items for survival. For many, it will be too late, for they will soon die as this event unfolds and comes upon them. I will not give the date as to when this will take place, but I will tell you it is so very soon. You have been complacent children, sitting back, thinking since it has not happened so far, it is still very far away. I have given everyone time to prepare, and also time for more to repent. But this is in no way meant that just because warnings were given for years, that I haven't repented of destroying this rabid nation called America. This is the year, if you do not or sorry, if you have not prepared nor repented, your soul is in danger of eternal torment. What if you are the one that will die tomorrow? Would you be saved? No child, if you have not repented, 
I urge you to do so now. It is not something you can procrastinate about any longer. My judgments are to bring more to salvation to my kingdom. Since you refuse to get on your knees, I, the omnipotent and ever-present one, the great I am, will have to drop you to your knees. Do not wait for me to do it, children. You, you do not know if tomorrow will be your last day on earth. Families will soon be separated as chaos will surround you. So many will even lose their loved ones this year. Laughter turned into mourning. The sound of crying and wailing as Rachel did when all the firstborn sons were slain. I will no longer hold off. I have given everyone plenty of time to prepare spiritually and physically for what is about to happen. I hold time in my hands. My timing is not the same as yours, children. I do things quickly. I can take down a nation in a few minutes if I so choose to. I am powerful, strong, and one you do not want to contend with. I am is also most loving, caring, kind, compassionate to those whose hearts turned back to me, to those who obey me, who follow me, who show their love for me through obedience to my commands. I am is also loving to sinners. I hate the sin in you, but I love all my creation. All were in need of a physician, so I sent my son to you, my only begotten son whom I delight in. Sin is a disease, and my son came to heal, to show the way, to pave the way of how to return to me. It is very simple, yet so many continue to rebel and remain in enmity with me. You can tell a loved one you are sorry for a misdeed and sinning against them, yet I, your father, you refuse to come to? It is your choice. Do not be unwise, child. This is not the time, for time is about up. As all unfolds, confusion and fear will engulf your minds. Even some of my chosen will be frightened when they see what is about to come. But they need not fear, for I am with them. You are those who will be protected for whatever time has been given to you to complete your kingdom work. Then you will be going home and into my arms. Look up, look up, look up. Only through my son can salvation be given. Are you ready to submit and realize you can't get through this on your own? Children, you are in the most prophetic time in history. What is about to happen as the king rises will be like nothing ever seen in the history of mankind. Satan has his armies of cyborgs, hybrids, AIs, and those in whom his demons reside in. He has everything in place to take his place. You are already monitored, watched, recorded, and tracked. His plan is to control every single being on earth. The beast system is here and has been slowly implemented, implemented through the years as you people have gladly submitted to it. Many are readily getting themselves chipped. Without realizing there will be no heavenly kingdom for them to enter into. I told you, I warned, yet you accept it. All who take the RFID chip will go to eternal fire. Hell will be your home with no way out. Soon you will no longer get any more warnings through my prophets, messengers, watchmen. How will you get information as the takeover is in full swing? I recommend you make paper copies of what you need to know that you buy a pocket Bible for soon you won't be able to purchase Bibles here. You also will be on the run and a pocket Bible will be the easiest to carry. You will be running children. Some of you I will bring to a place of refuge if you repent to me, if that is my will for your life. Censorship has started. Soon my word will be removed. Videos scrubbed truth removed. Do not fall for this new world order, this one world religion. It is nothing more than extermination of billions off this planet, as they believe only 500 million 
are to live. So you are not in their plan. This is long, but it is to give you forewarning of all that is about to transpire. You see, they have the last couple of things to implement, and that is to silence you, to take your rights to free speech away and your right to arms, First and Second Amendment. They are creating chaos, for out of chaos comes order, new world order, all strategically planned. What will you choose? Repentance to everlasting life or enslavement to the beast system and then eternal torment? Will it be life or death? I wish none to perish. All prophecy must be fulfilled. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Your father, the one who always loved you first, Yahuwah. And this was given to Miss Sophie on March 8th of this year. Anyway, there's a sinner's prayer that uh, she has written down here. And this is what you can say so you can be saved. Father, I know that I have broken your laws and my sins have separated me from you. I am truly sorry and now I want to turn away from my past sinful life toward you. Please forgive me and help me avoid sinning again. I believe that your son Jesus Christ died for my sins, was resurrected from the dead, is alive, and hears my prayer. I invite Jesus to become the Lord of my life, to rule and reign in my heart from this day forward. Please send your Holy Spirit to help me obey you and to do your will for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All I'd like to add to this is please take this to heart. I can confirm about uh, Obama. The Lord gave me the same thing he told me. I heard very clearly uh, wolf in sheep's clothing, antichrist. And I was also, I had also made a video about that. It is here on my channel. I did share that. I gave a testimony of it. So I can confirm that he gave that to me as well. And there's, there's just so much stuff on here that he has shared with Miss Sophie that he's also given to Byron. They all coincide with so many others. So please call on him today. And um, have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless. And I will see you next video.